Wilhelm Maximilian Wundt, born in 1832, is considered the founder of psychology and is one of the pioneers of reaction time research. Wundt founded the first formal laboratory for psychological research at the University of Leipzig, Germany, where him and his colleagues performed a number of experiments testing human attention and reaction times. Over the years, many devices were used for the studies such as the control hammer, Wundt's perimeter, and the hip chronoscope to name a few. It was from these early devices that Wundt finally designed one of the most important pieces of equipment for studying reaction time. Wundt's complication pendulum was essentially a pendulum clock that would strike a bell just when the pendulum reached the extreme end of its swing. He was interested in comparing reaction times of individuals in order to investigate whether there were any significant differences between subjects and also between a visual and an auditory stimulus. Participants in his studies were asked to indicate the relative position of either a rotating clock arm or a swinging pendulum at the moment that the auditory event was presented, in most cases the sound of a bell. Afterwards, they would do the opposite, where they would have to indicate at which point in a song a light came on. To his surprise, he found that the reaction time of his participants was significantly longer when the stimulus was presented visually. From his personal experience, Wundt described that the bell went off not when the pendulum was at its extreme most position, but rather as it was swinging away from that position. Based on this perceived lag, the average time for a human to react to an event, according to Wundt, was about one-eighth of a second. After years of further perfecting the design of the complication pendulum and conducting countless experiments, he concluded that seeing the pendulum and hearing the bell required separate, sequential acts of attention and that this switching of attention was voluntary. Furthermore, unattended or unexpected stimuli took much longer to respond to, suggesting that anticipation plays an important role in reaction time.